Hello, everybody, and hey, special shout out to Lou. How's it going, Lou? I am finally playing The Witcher 3. Uh, this is, uh, I want to say, number 12 in a series that uh, we affectionately call uh, Fantasy Poland Mondays. Uh, this is a game that I missed out on. I have, for the first time in a very long time, uh, gone out and gotten dinner with friends. Uh, remember that? We're going out and, and, like, actually seeing people with faces and, like... Legitimately, it was the strangest thing. All of these people had lower had lower jaws and lips. Uh, I am full of Chinese food. I'm high on life and Sichuan peppercorns. Uh, we're getting a little bit of a late start. Uh, my voice sound my voice is feeling a thousand times better. Now the only thing is I've got the itis because holy crap, y'all! There's a Sichuan place by my house that is just insanely good. I have eaten perhaps too much. Uh, so we're gonna see, uh, see how much energy I can muster. We're gonna, we're do, starting late, but going late. I'm gonna go until I, I can't go no more. Thank you guys again for joining me. Uh, Tom should be on the call later, uh, because I've gone wild and woolly in my, uh, in my deprivation from society. There we go. Uh, Tom should be joining on the call later. Uh, he has been playing this game as well and has uh, uh, rocketed ahead of me, so he says. Uh, so we're gonna gonna have him be my little uh, seeing eye guy. All right. Truth is in the stars. Find dragon's root using my Witcher senses. Okay. I don't even remember where I left off last time. Uh, Time is immaterial. And that's why it's okay that we're starting late. Like, it's not like I have a job to go to in the morning. Like, who cares? Time is an illusion. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Oh. Yeah, I have finally uh, overcome the vicious uh, mold-based head cold. Um... If you look at like like the charts of allergens in San Antonio, mold is still like off the roof. Like it is. If, if you look at it, it's it's like a like a sheer climb. The other allergens, which San Antonio always has something floating around in the air. I still have like a little bit of a drip, but I I don't think it's from allergies. I think it's just from extraordinarily spicy Chinese food. So uh, forgive me if I just go. Um, but yeah, like, like, all of the other allergens, you know, pollen and grass and, you know, pet hair, blah, 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 everything else, is like, you know, 2,000 parts per million. Now, according to any other place where people attempt to live, uh, where nature attempts to kill them, we do, we do have the cicada explosion. It's not as bad, though, uh... We get, you know, we, we get the little the little dudes uh, uh, every year we have another brood, so this brood mostly misses us. We just get little tiny, like, eh. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, the trees aren't screaming at us that badly because they're too busy trying to kill us with pollen. But, um, yeah, like, all the other allergens are like 2,000, 3,000 parts. Mold is like 15 to 25,000 parts per million. It's stupidly high. Oh, and a die. Well. Oh, I don't know. There, there, there are points I think where, where, where Jerry Two Swords just too much fall damage. Yeah, we're back here again. That's okay. We've got the time to do. But uh, but yeah. So like, mold is horrifically high. Uh, even the woman that gives my wife her uh, her allergy shots was like, "Y'all, it's it's broken. There should not be. None of us should be alive." So, as far as I can tell, if we're talking in terms of like. 
Uh, if we're just talking in terms of, of like, inhaled uh, irritants, uh, most of the population of San Antonio is at least some percentage mushroom right now. Uh, just because of mold and fungus. So, uh, I finally got rid of the head cold uh, through judici judicious application of NyQuil and whiskey. Uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of steroids every once in a while, you know. All the stuff that's good for you. And we're going to go down the hill. Low light. But it has uh, it has continued to rain pretty steadily down here, which is still kind of like a little bit weird for us. Uh, and after now that the rain is seems to be finally coming to a close, uh, now instead we have to deal with the literally oppressive heat. That is one ominous bunny rabbit. Sounds like there's dogs create skull piles. Bujums. Vitamins and minerals. Now 100% uh, stocked up on vitamin J. You know what? My own proprietary blend. Yeah, basically my immune system finally caught up and was like, this isn't like a... We're, we're not purporting ourselves with the same level of strength that we always do. Come on, John, get with it. After a healthy amount of the sleep, I managed to... Cool. Hello, boys. Venom extract and ghouls blood. More, we got another gobbly ghoul. Got another grabby Kathy. What an axe. Picking up a lot of mushrooms. Ingredient. Your co-pilot has arrived. Hey, Tom, have you managed to shed the uh, the itis? Uh, no, it is still very much there, and I am still very sleepy. But I have myself uh, a cocktail, and hey. and I am ready for witchering. Fantasy Poland Monday. Clear eyes, full hearts, two swords, cat boy, can't lose. Okay, so uh, uh, so I'd completely forgotten where I left off last time, but uh, a quick look it at my like quest log. It looks like you're in a cave. Yeah, I'm looking for dragon's root for the peller. Oh yeah, it's I in think. there. Yeah, uh, well, I'd hope so. Also, did you notice the uh, Monty Python joke at the entrance to that cave? Yes, I did with the with the white rabbit. Very, very cute. Uh, now, over here. This shows that there's another monster in Dragon's Root. I wonder if it can really help the old man see the future. Or a pigeon that's going to jump out at me? Face through I, the door. I don't think so. I think there's just a handful of those neckers in here, and then... yeah. That's it. I mean, I already, I already killed all the, all the grabby ghouls. So, uh, so boom, there we go. Go back. And... So, have you, know, you dealt with the crones? Have you uh, dealt with the crones yet? Yes, I have. I, I have reunited uh, the, uh, the Baron's family as much as possible. Ah, so you went that route. I mean. 
he got a stern talking to from his uh uh from his daughter but uh eventually she she was like yeah i i apparently have to go uh, off with my cult so so the the difference there the choice that you end up making that affects everything is uh when you're sent to go deal with that evil tree <laughs> Uh -huh. um, whether or not you choose to help the evil tree uh, decides what will happen with the Baron and uh, his family. Uh -huh. um, so I take it you did not help the evil tree, you killed the evil tree. No, why, why would I help the evil tree? Because the evil tree saves the orphans. Well, the evil tree was like, yeah, I don't really care about life or death. Like, all things are dead, right? And I was like, yeah, that's not, uh... That's not workable. I mean, that... that so, the, the way that the decision process that I made when I played this a few days ago was, um... You know, I, I know the orphans are in danger now, and the only way I can save them is by, uh helping the evil trees so i will help them well, but the, the, uh, like that's the problem was there wasn't a save orphan like i didn't get save the orphans anything out of that i just got you know like hey well don't... The, the the tree does mention that they're in danger and that she can save them yeah that sounds like the line kind of thing that a tree would say i mean that is true uh but uh if you help her she does in fact save the orphans um and because of that the crones are angry with the baron's wife uh so they curse her into becoming this like water hag like creature uh so when you go to rescue her she's this water hag and you get um uh johnny to teach you how to uh lift the curse uh, but once it's lifted, she dies because uh, the curse was meant to be permanent by the crone. So it was either stay a water hag forever or die. Well, um, I, uh, I guess then that I get to, uh, to go deal with the hags sooner rather than later. Because now I'm angry at them. Um, well, I mean, you will get to... Th that's a late game thing. You will eventually be coming back You're a after the crones. Thing. Um, but the, uh, uh, the end result ends up being the daughter goes off to be with her witch hunter friends, uh, and the bloody Baron, uh, tells you, hey, come back to the, uh, uh, the, um, the castle and I'll give you, you know, the final part of your reward. And you go back to the castle and he has hung himself from one of the trees, in front of it. I mean, I'd accept it. Um, but yeah, more, so that... more importantly, does the midget ever get explained? Yes. The little person. Yeah, the, the freaky looking tiny thing, yeah. uh, Uma. Yeah. Yes. U Uma is a big plot thing. Uh, you will be dealing with Uma uh, later. In okay, the game. good. I, I have played far enough through the game to know what the real deal is with Uma, and it's interesting. I would I would certainly hope so. But that that's going to be like eight or nine hours from now. Like, yeah, no problem. Uh, uh, we, yeah, got, that, we got we got we got a couple of weeks before uh, before that goes down. I, I, I do I do realize it, it's it's very difficult to break uh, to break patterns of speech that uh, that term is generally considered ableist, which is not my intent. So I apologize, the little person, uh, um, the diminutive but, guy. Uh, yeah, the whole Uma storyline, you'll deal with that post Skellige. So you have Novigrad and Skellige to deal with before you get to dealing with Uma. I'm sure that that's just a short jaunt. Very short. Skellige is not gigantic at all. Yeah. Skellige won't feel like three million years or anything. Sailing between islands will not be the equivalent of paint drying. Yeah, sure, to be, sure to be super fast. Okay, let's put it back to the peller, or the fortune teller. Yeah, that guy. 
Not the pump. We already we already dealt with the pump stuff. So I beat him at uh at Gwent and uh his deck was really interesting because he plays with a monster deck. Uh mm -hmm. and and that was uh interesting to go up against. Never trust uh never trust a card player that speaks in the third person or in iambic pentameter. I'm a wealthy man. Yeah. Yep. Yo, what up, nutty pants? Ooh, you're back. Yeah, you didn't see that coming, did you? Got what you asked for. Thank you. No, I need a moment. Yeah, me too. Y'all in our, uh, uh, I mean, the last stream was quiet, but the last time that we did a Witcher stream, we hit over 10 viewers, which is huge news for me. So, like, again, thank you guys so, so much for choosing to come and hang out. It really does mean follows a swallow, yet the swallow does not heed the wolf's howls. Soaring higher and higher. Talking about Siri. Siri is the swallow. Yeah, Siri is always the swallow. I've read a metaphor. So shall it be. Yeah, it's because her her sword is Zerial, which is uh, the old tongue for swallow. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, where? If means prophecy. Yes, where? Over ten. That's a huge deal, man. Go now. This is like the weird thing, right? Like, so, so for for other streamers and for like small streamers, usually get used to. After like a year of streaming, they get kind of the numbers that I've got right now. Like, there, there's four people watching uh, consistently. That usually doesn't happen to people until after they've been streaming for like well over several months. Uh, so wild to me. Uh, wild to me that we've already reached that. We hit over... Uh, over 60 people. Uh, over 60 subscribers, which is super, super cool. And didn't mean... Enough Guardian Patrol, Contract Shrieker. Uh, let's deal with Jenny of the Wood. It's fun. Right here by a sign. Good anyway. job. What do you think, co-pilot? Eh, I mean, I'm always down for exploring the world. Let's explore the world. Two thousand leagues away. We're gonna save the game. Got a direction, and away we go. I are going to be wired in an RPG. Yeah, I need to get my uh, my um, application in on that very soon. Hmm, it's one of the awesome it's games. A, uh, no, it is a Discord game, and it's a Song of Ice and Fire RPG. Ooh, depressing. Yeah, it's going to be set during the uh, the conquest. Yeah, you should play it for several years and then uh, even leave the ending completely and utterly unsatisfying. No plans to. I mean, that just sounds like anything involving George R. R. Martin. So. Precisely. Should uh, keep track of everything that you guys do on a website that looks like it was designed in night one. Talk about the New York Giants a lot. Make sure if you're going to describe food, you do it in the most singularly pornographic way possible. I think I needed that for some... Some, uh, some fantasy, uh, fantasy... 
Don't get me wrong, so, I'm here for it. So I'm at the point now with my alchemy that um, I'm starting to get to the point where I need to make superior versions of whatever, uh, the like the highest level of alchemy. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the, um, the ingredient that like all of the high level alchemy requires is a thing called white gull. It's one of the uh, the alcohols you can make. Yeah. Under alchemy, uh, and its ingredients are expensive, so I would definitely recommend um, like marking it under your alchemy, so that whenever you find ingredients for it at a uh, uh, a merchant, they'll show up because those those two, the white mm -hmm. bottle and the black bottle, those are expensive. Nice. Um, like if you scroll up the the vitriol, vermilion, rabeto, all of those like different colored dusts that are under alchemy substances, you need different versions of those in order to um make your like superior oils and potions. Uh and all of them require white gold. How many of them do we have to calcium? Calciato. Calciato. Uh, like, like, like they're taking all of those names from uh, actual alchemy. Yeah, from like, from like actual historical alchemical processes. Like, beta was the application of heat and or friction until something reddened. Right. Out. That makes sense. That's where you get like vermilion and rubido. Oh no! Look, I, I, I certainly don't hate. Uh, uh, particularly not on any on any RPG. What I'm saying is, you guys will be able to tell a more cohesive, and, uh, well tailored story than Martin is capable. Of. And I mean, I, I I'm going to have a lot of fun because both myself and uh, and Daniel, neither of us are making like important characters from major houses or anything like yeah. that. We're both making like he's making a hedge knight, and I'm making his. Squire, who is actually older than he is. Yeah, like, like, and that—that's the cool thing, right? So, like, I have noticed like a like a thematic difference between between this and uh, uh, and a Song of Ice and Fire, uh, primarily in that this is more like like what if fairy tales, but realistic. Yeah. Whereas A Song of Ice and Fire is like, what if fairy tale setting, but also no magic? Magic is hard to write. Whereas this one, they just kind of like take it in stride, you know? Like, I kind of dig that. Yeah. Yeah, This I one, agree. they're like, yeah, yeah, magic's, magic's totally a thing. It doesn't, doesn't make things suck less. In a lot of cases, it makes things suck more. Uh, interestingly enough, if I was going to run uh, The Witcher as an RPG, um, uh, Ronin, Green Ronin Games, the, the people who make the A Song of Ice and Fire RPG, um, they make a setting agnostic version called The Sword Chronicle. Mm -hmm. uh, and The Sword Chronicle is, in, in my opinion, very good for doing something like the witcher because it adds in rules for things like i'm gonna play an elf or i'm gonna play a dwarf in addition to the like the politics rules of song of ice and fire and the very good combat system it has yeah um so i i think that that would be a, a really good way to do uh the witcher in an well, rpg and i and i know that there is there are folks who are doing a uh, a witcher rpg and uh, one of the people that's working on them person who made uh, the excellent rule set for 5th edition uh, hmm. or the combat wheelchair uh, also as featured in uh, uh, by an NPC in Critical Role uh, so uh, you know like, like the mechanics for playing uh, uh Characters dealing with a uh, dealing with a disability by 
as adventurers should, deciding instead to be utter badasses and uh, and to keep on trucking. Uh, so I know that like her work, she's a, I think it's a at Mustang Art on Twitter, a okay. phenomenal artist. Uh, but a lot of her work is in realistic and in-depth portrayals of different disabilities. So like she's writing entire sections on the importance not only of the Witcher's signs in terms of the magical powers that they use, but the sign language that they uh, that they have developed uh, to both focus their uh, the magical power of their signs and also uh, communicate with those who are deaf and hard of hearing. Hmm. Like fascinating, really really intense and cool stuff. Yeah, that does sound very interesting. Heard. I think this. I think there was a harpy place that I. Out. I, I went up to a um, see that other marker. I went up to the to this little joint. I went up to this joint and was thoroughly disappointed because it doesn't look like there's a way that I can get to it. Like it looks like I need a boat. There's a drawbridge that's up. There's some kind of treasure there. Place you of power. uh yes okay that one's a little bit complex. I could tell you how to get it. You basically have to swim into an underwater cavern. I mean, we'll get there. Yeah, but... you 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 swim into an underwater cavern, and then there's a series of like ladders and platforms that get you up into the castle, and you drop that drawbridge from the other side. But for now, I need to go up. We can't have that side question in Monday. <laughs> you. Hey, no, no, Wyvern, no. You're the worst parts of a dragon. So the only good part of the dragon is the four limbs? No, but I mean, like, the worst part is very clearly the maw full of teeth and the dragon ass. Now we go this way. Hey, Jerry, you can put your sword away. You're going to be... I I have a uh, full uh, uh, full disclosure, Tom. Since, uh, since I logged on, I did fall a little bit off a map. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I, I uh, Earlier I was playing, and I ran off a broken staircase and died. So. Yeah. It happens. Jerry Two Swords, uh, shock absorption, not great. Got them old man knees. I'm so used to playing games like Borderlands where there is no fall damage. Mm hmm Which I got the Borderlands Game of the Year stuff, so... Uh, should, uh, Kick ass! Yeah, we should get on Bo those. Uh, Bo Borderlands 3? Uh, I, I got, uh, they were on sale, so I got all of them. Uh, you have Borderlands 3 on Steam? Yeah. Okay. I I am going to search right now to find out if it is cross-platform. Be cool. It really would. Oop. See, like, every Breath of the Wild instinct, like, jump off of this and slide down. Uh, wow. So, uh, good news, Borderlands 3 does, in fact, support cross-play between Steam and the Epic Game Store. Hey so, if if you decide you want to uh, team up, I've got my badass, super-powered soldier that I can roll with you. Well, I am, so, I am, of course, uh, as I am tempted to do with series, uh, to play through Borderlands, Borderlands, uh... Pre-sequel and Borderlands 2. Uh, 
in a quick hurry, you know, not like doing all the DLC or anything it was uh, it would take ages. Not good. Well, I mean, you, you kind of have to do the DLC of Borderlands 2, though, because it's the best. Yeah, well, and, and you know, but just, just a quick reminder of, hey, remember when you used to play this game? Yeah. Uh, well, and then so dive the, into the, Borderlands 3. So the be beginning of Borderlands 3 also has really good, like, tutorial stuff, because they change up some of the mechanics. Oh, good. Um, like... The fighting style in Borderlands 3 is way more, like, frenetic than what uh, Borderlands uh, 2 was. Is that, um, it, real quick, does that skull mean that there's, there's a guarded treasure or some shit? Yes, I inside that cave. Oh, let's see it. Wraiths. Wraiths. Time for some specter oil. Oil. Uh, but yeah, so Borderlands 3 uh, has a really, like, fast and frenetic, uh, like, combat style where it really encourages you, encourages you to, like, be run and gun and, like, not hang out in one place for too long and, um, like, really just, like, get up in the enemy's faces. A scoot and shoot mentality is how I've always played. Like, uh, so I, I've played uh, Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal, and the combat in Borderlands 3 feels a lot like uh, the combat in those games. Yeah, uh, for a lot of the Doom stuff, it was just like, like, it was moving so quickly, I was like, I can't even really tell what the fuck's going on. But hopefully I'll have enough of a, ooh, oh. What do I, ard that down or what? Uh, yeah, art it. You might need to Ard. take a step back, though. Space might. So, uh, Ow. with my Geralt, oh, I picked yeah. up... I picked up a, uh... The alternate version of Ard, uh, which you use by, instead of, like, tapping the button for the attack, you hold it down. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what that does is, um... Charges your art on? Uh, it, instead of Ooh, being... Oh, I am dying. Oh. Yippee, howdy, I died. So those guys are apparently poisonous. Uh, no, you're in poisonous mushrooms. Ah, uh, okay. So should I light that on fire next time? Yeah, I would say so. Mm -hmm. Um... Hello, darling. My wife just got... Hello. Tom says hello. He says, tell him I say hello back. What's up, nerd? What up, nerd? She also says. <laughs> I can't remember what I, what I was saying. Remind me to say. Uh, you, you were talking about uh, about holding your art on. Oh, yeah, so the alternate fire mode for Ard, when you invest points into it, instead of it being a unidirectional, like, cone push, it becomes a uh, hemisphere all around you. Uh, and if you use it on, um, like, uh, uh, flying enemies, they'll fall to the ground. I agree, Lou. Fire is always the answer. Uh, if it's not power, it's gotta be the answer, it's an answer. If this game has taught us anything, it's that uh, violence may not always be the best answer, but it is always an answer. Geared up. World map. Oh, a boop. There we go. Right, back to the cave. Wee. Eat dead, Jim. Wee. Cool guy. And dragon. Okay. Huh? 
He is at least as cool as Tony Hawk. I mean, I'm more recognizable, I think. <laughs> His Twitter gives me life. He's one of the few celebrities that I follow. Like, like, not, that aren't like YouTubers. Right. <laughs> Like there, there's a, uh, there's like a weird subsection in my Twitter because like half of it is just like, like leftist revolutionaries, uh, a surprising amount of uh, of sex workers on my Twitter. So like every once in a while, just scrolling through the feed, I'm like, well, this just got very not safe for work in a hurry. But uh, not my job to curate other people's feeds. And then like a bunch of authors and you know like comedians. So okay, I'm gonna save that. I'm going to the restroom real fast. Yep, go for it. Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll be back in just a couple minutes with uh, uh, with take two into the ghost cave. Back in just a flash. In the machine. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, by the way, just letting you know in advance, uh, when you get to uh, Novigrad and you start doing those missions, uh, I am going to have to advise you in advance of digital Neepnorps. So. I appreciate that. That's uh, well, I pay you the big bucks. You know, the fun thing is, my like honestly, one of my goals in uh, in pursuing this uh, this brand new method of uh, of living, if you will. Oh, well, the wolf mark. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Yeah. It was very satisfying. Uh, it was incredible. It was one of those like 
one of those nice long like i was outside so I'd, i was like leaning against the tree canopies it was fantastic one of the ones where if you had been in uh if you had been in a bar or at a sporting event you'd be like wait a minute is this guy okay just because leans up against the wall and is like oh one of those you know you know it was fantastic 10 out of 10, would recommend. Should I, uh, should I go on ahead and, uh, I have a, an armor repair kit. Should I go ahead and use that? Uh, I mean, if you're not planning on going to a town anytime soon. Sure. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in between me and there. Yeah, Tom actually uh, actually joined me uh, at the uh, at said joint. It was so good. So very. Good. Have not had Szechuan food like that in over a year. It was so good. Delicioso. I don't think on this. How come these mushrooms are fine? Up upcoming mushroom, poisonous. I mean, isn't that the question that humanity's been asking? I mean, nature for the last several thousand ask, years. They ask it once. Hard. Alright, back to Igni. Food. Show me what you got. Show me what you've got. Body, Jerry. Does it help if I, uh, ooh. Does it help if I use killer whale? In here? No. No, it's that just, just helps you when you're underwater. I just gotta, just gotta kinda slow roast my way through. Yeah, and if you get, like, to the end there, uh, there's no more. Hey, hey. Uh, I mean, once you have them Dodge, baited, dip, you can. Come here, come here. Now they'll follow you, or at least they should. And that one looks real skittish about it, though. Look at him. He's just going crazy over there. What the hell is that thing? A chimera. Is that like a stupid way of spelling chimera? Dark Souls. Ah, ah, yeah. Plus a red mutagen. Camera yeah. hot. Like a like a, a weird way of spelling chimera. Uh, how is it spelled? E K I M M E R A. Chimera. It might be. I don't speak. I know Ooh. that's supposed to be one of the, um... Which are George's <laughs> journal. Having heard rumors of a dragon, I raced at full speed development. Sadly, I was dragged away from my hunt by the prefects of Gore's Vela. They summoned me as an expert to solve a riddle of a string of shipwrecks suspected to be the works of Night Raid. Humph. Who writes humph in their journal? A pretentious dick, that's who. Seems a dragon ravaging the countryside is a lower priority than block trade routes. <laughs> Luckily, I was able to solve the riddle of the lone lighthouse quickly and raced off after the dragon. I learned the peasants from the ravaged villages had taken shelter in the elven catacombs under Lake Windermere. Wise. Yet they were not wise enough to bring firewood and so warn themselves by burning elven manuscripts. It makes my heart to think of the knowledge about the alder folk went up in those flames. 
At least a few of the manuscripts survive, including some highly interesting sketches of armor. Porn. Yet enough about that. Eyewitnesses report of ashen scales, height two haunches, blah, blah, blah. You're dealing with a green dragon. Sing hunt. Um. Light in here. Yep, ballads and hymns, songs about Yennefer. I'm in you. You got what I need. Ooh, an olive. Testing. All right. So uh, further in, Tom, yeah? I mean, until you complete this place. Hmm. Something here. Where's that artifact Kira, artifact gave, me? Kira gave me? Who's this schmuck? Hey, buddy. Buddy, you okay? All right there, guy? Oh, it's a back end. Noise. Well, I guess I'm done here. I'll just leave those two wraiths. Uh, okay, map. Did you do your level up? I did not. I'm going to... point my way back to here. So, like... We'll go to down warrant, and we'll run back and tag these. Scroll, scroll out real quick? Or, like, zoom out? Oop. Uh, basically everything on this like little subcontinent or whatever uh -huh. is doable by you uh, at your current like r relative level, except if you scroll up slightly. Oop. You see those two question marks that are right next to each other near the coast? Right there. Don't try and do those. Okay. Uh, the, I mean, that are that are they're near that like skull. eastern coast. They no down. Oh, oh right here. Skull. Yeah, we're we're yeah, th those uh so those watch out are for those. very high level. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> I was walking around clearing out uh places of interest the other day and walked up to that place and just got absolutely beasted by like a level forty dragon. Do I plan on seeing Black Widow in theaters now that I'm vaccinated? Uh probably. Probably. I mean, I still haven't been to been to a movie theater yet, but uh, you know, like, especially if the movie theaters are keeping it up and doing the whole like, hey, let's you know, uh, get the vaccinated folks in and also uh, uh, keep in distance. Uh, perhaps. I don't know. That still makes me a little bit nervous because, uh, you know, here here in Texas, of course, we. Uh, our governor, in his wise beneficence, decided, well, nobody can make anybody wear any masks then because freedom. Uh, I've seen a whole lot of, like, I mean, for lack of a better term, uh, uh, American flag wearing, uh, uh, mouth breathing yahoos, you know, talking about, about their freedom in the, uh, uh, in the chip aisle at HEB, you know, like, like making a point of like, well, no one, no one's going to get me scared of a virus that I can't see, you know, uh, uh, that I can't see fight and, and don't believe the science in. I'm going to live my life unafraid. Weird though. These chips used to be so good. Now I can't taste nothing. And, you know, I'm going to live my life unafraid. Yeah. With all of my guns in my bunker. Right. In case there's anybody out there that's coming for me. But then again, I am also um, relatively certain that the primary audience for a uh, for a woman-led espionage film about a uh, about a Soviet assassin is not that crowd. So I doubt that they'll be you know like 
lining up to go to the uh, the midnight showing. Right, we'll have to see what the crowd is. You know, if they're still doing the whole uh, uh, the whole cram everybody in thing that they were doing beforehand, nah, nah. I'll I'll, I'll get a little bit of distance, and not like I'm uh, not like I'm opposed to waiting. We learned an awful lot about the skill of delayed gratification. Hee <laughs> look at it roll. This amuses me more of an issue. Rumbly tumbly head. Oop. Oop. Okay. Ooh, Han Fiber. What up, nerds? Well, let's uh, let's go on ahead and pop some uh, pop some anti uh, anti dude juice on. There we go. Only demands venom. Ladder? I use ladder. Yeah, I mean, like, like I've already, I've already got Disney Plus, and you know, <laughs> oh, that's satisfying. Uh, I've got Disney Plus, and uh, you know, like, if they offer it on Disney Plus, then I'll probably just watch it from the comfort of my own home. Uh, I can make popcorn. I've got plenty of Diet Coke, you know. uh, and I, I won't have some, you know, Yahoo. Uh, uh, Often on me while I wait in line to get Cinnabon, you know. Like. That's the saddest part is that it's not that I don't trust the theaters, I don't trust the people who are uh, who are in the theaters. Misanthropic though that may be, I have I have been accused of better. This is a very cool little bandit camp. I remember doing Show it the other day because it's a like fallen over windmill. I mean, in terms of bandit camps, it ranks up there. Like the the way you get up on it. Uh, I mean, I guess there's a a ladder there at the side that I only am just now seeing. You actually climb up one of the windmill sails on the other side. One of, one of the veins. Yeah. I think I'll just use. The yeah, I, I, I didn't know that ladder was there until right now. John, you gotta defeat the ladder boss. Uh, I mean, it looks like I'm winning. Are you winning, son? Yeah. So I've got a I've got a couple of like really cool uh hmm, let me scripts. Uh, I've got a couple of really cool uh uh swords that uh the next time we get to a town i'll have to have you take a look at and see whether or not i am justified in my shyness in selling them because like one of them has you know like most of them are like yeah I'll, you know dude will buy that for you know for 18 uh, 18 monies you know sure whatever and then one is like ooh, that one we'll, we'll pay like 504 and I'm like am I missing something I mean probably relic swords usually sell for like quite a bit um I, I I don't know I think a lot of the swords in the game aren't they're not really worth keeping uh once you find one that's better unless it's like only within a couple of points of difference um because sometimes, like, let's say one is, like, five points stronger than your current sword, but that one that you're, uh, that's a little bit weaker, um, has, like, armor piercing or, mm -hmm. you know, like a 10% chance to cause bleed or something like that on it, then personally, I would go for the one that's slightly weaker, but has better, um... Status effect stuff. Yeah, status effects to it. Yeah, that's kind of what I, what I was wondering if there was like something that I was missing. But I'll have you I'll have you take a look at him here in a little bit and, and give me the uh, give me the Tom appraisal. 
But, uh, but no, I mean, like, 100%, I am going to see that movie. Uh, whether I'm in a theater or not is is kind of up for grabs. But I've been waiting for Black Widow for a long... Ah. Um, a monster nest and me without bomb. So, do some Current time, meditate until late. Right. Very two swords sits out in the rain. Mopey, sad boy goth kid that he is. Thinking about the way that the mall closed. Hot Topic was oh, so many of them. Hey. Don't forget food. I'm fooding, I'm fooding. There. Lesser green mutagen, lesser blue mutagen. Aquamarine mutagen. Mechers surface here. Dig their way out. Ooze. Ooze. There we are. Yeah, yeah. Oi. Yeah. Now, Neckers are like little, uh, little ugly Nosferatu vampires, right? Like, they're listed as necrophages, but uh, I think they're supposed to basically be goblins. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. I'm fine. Probably step away from. Yeah, I mean when I set off a bomb, I usually try to not be right next to it. Because if you and want, I'm, if you want to live your life afraid. And I'm pretty sure that uh, the other place of interest you're walking up to now is another Necker Nest. Well, good thing I have another bomb. Like apparently, this town's fields were just infested with them. Yeah, just Necker Central. <laughs> like. How how are they raising their crops when their their fields are just full of tiny flesh eating goblins? Little grab ghoulies. They do kind of look like the ghoulies. Yeah, or like chuds. Get down. Ah. Uh, <laughs> That's good though, because I do I do recall that I need some of their bits for some uh, some alchemical. I only check that when I'm in town, like just I can't be bothered when I'm out. Maker's surface here, dig their way out. Bomb. Um, I suppose I'll be prudent. Well, guys, don't look at explosions. Okay. Uh, let's world map. Now, Fennec, don't think, had a blacksmith. But this place looks like it almost certainly has... Like, are those just fields? That's the Nilfgaardian army camp. I gotta go there and report for stuff anyway, right? You'll get missions there for sure. Like, um, are, we, like are we cool? Do they have a blacksmith there? I'm trying to remember if they have a blacksmith. I know for certain they have merchants. I, I don't remember if they have a blacksmith. Tell you what, let's run up and hit the... You could always fast travel back to Crow's Perch. I mean, you know for certain they're going to have a blacksmith. Yeah, that's true. Um, you know, well, I mean, like, like, let's... Uh, hmm, let's go on ahead and, and hit up hit up these spots on. Why not? Oop. Because I do need to repair my silver sword again. I've been putting a lot of work on old Bitsy. Yeah, man. I am, I am jazzed about the Black Widow movie. That and, uh... uh 
Chang Chi and the Ten Rings. I'm um I'm so here for that. Hey, what up, dogs? I got them. What, what are your thoughts on Eternals? Uh, it's gonna be. Uh, we were actually talking about this in the last stream, which you missed out on because of your uh, uh, your sickly uh, pale bloodline. Uh, we were talking about them. Uh, man, you know, uh, it's hard to make the Eternals interesting, but. Yeah. I mean, they, historically, they, they people have tried. All, they they kind of all have that like way too super powered thing yeah. going on. But I think by this point, like we've already gotten like infinity ga levels of weirdness. So now, like yeah, Come sure, on. bring it on, get weirder, you know. Uh, look, let let's let's be totally frank, right? Like like let's let's put all of our all of our proverbial cards here on the table. Right. Let's let's show our hands. Uh, I want all of this to end in a man thing feature film, uh, co-starring Howard the Duck, that takes place in the uh, uh, in the Convergence, uh, which is in the Florida Everglades. Right. So go on ahead, get weird, y'all. Like Eternals, sure. Oh, this is the actual like Mandarin. Cool, do it. Give us more of the Ten Rings. Give us the Cities of Heaven. Like, name drop Kun Loon, and I'm happy as all. Uh, I really trust uh, Kevin Feige. You know? Like, I trust this crew. First off, they they admit when they, uh, when they screw things up, like, you know, uh, they recently said, ooh, maybe we shouldn't have cast the Ancient One as a white woman, even if it is Tilda Swinton. Which, yeah, the internet told you. Maybe listen to them. Uh, but generally, they've got the, they've got a like a really good sense of how to translate the uh, uh, the core of the stuff from comics into the new medium. I, I dig it. Like, yeah, man, go. Oh. So, uh, I believe since the last time I was on one of your streams, uh, Jen and I finished uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, mm -hmm. uh, which I thought was fantastic. The, the ending of it was great. Uh, the subtle nod towards Secret Invasion was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we also finished up, uh, Iron Fist, so we are now good to go for, uh, the Defenders. Yeah. Uh, if you hit that with Ard, you'll bust open that basement. Yeah. I just did it. Oi. A new quest, out of the frying pan, into the... It's a hidden treasure. But did I already do it? No, you just, you didn't select it. It'll be under hidden treasures. Yeah, okay. treasure. Oh, no regret. Read the notes that I found. <laughs> okay. Cool, man. Uh, let's see. Inventory. Hey, read. Soldiers have come. Whether ours or theirs, don't know. Don't really matter anymore. Hit, nail the door shut. Maybe they won't get in. I'm not killing and raping. I saw it all through cracks in the wall. Hit my... Okay. I've already read this. Okay. Search the dead man's hiding place. I don't know. Okay. Oh, and that, did that trigger like a spawn of more ghoulie ghouls upstairs? I believe it does. Okay, cool. I had inventory. 
Let's uh, goo up our oil. Enhanced necrophage. We're repairing our silver sword and uh, get to killing some ghoulies. What up, nerd? Ow. Ow. But uh, yeah, man, I'm I'm excited about the the next slate of stuff that they got coming out. And it looks like I mean, oh, a bandit, El I mean, Loki comes out in two days. Yeah, that's gonna be great. Yeah. No one, buddy. Uh, Tom Tom Hiddleston and Luke Wilson in the buddy cop movie we didn't know that we really really wanted. Luke or Owen? I'm pretty sure it's Luke. Wow. No, no, you're right. It is Owen. Wow. Oh, I got a yeah, Marabor sword. They are hard to tell apart, those two brothers. I mean, one of them's blonde and has a broken nose, but... Ease. Ease. Yeah, light it on fire. Amanda was watching the uh, the stream and uh, saw the moment when I did accidentally light a bunch of villagers on fire trying to get. And nothing of value was lost. They were they were they were people, Tom. Were they though? Yes. They they would appear to be pixels on a computer screen. So. Insides felt really bad. That tells me that they were close enough to people. That's a, not a lot of corpses. That's cool. There's a bunch of horns. It's good alchemical supplies. That's neat. And honey's always, always handy because I don't really feel good about eating. You know, raw meat. Uh, perhaps missing the. Are you still on the the quest? Yeah, I'm still doing out of the front and. Um. It says search the dead man's hiding place using your wish or something. But I did. And, uh... There, there's a... Uh, in the burned building, there's, like, a, a thing where you can, like, ard a bunch of, um... like, rubble. Burned building, you What up, nerds? Yep. Oh, right. What up? I want to say it's it's like near the back. Like right, like this little door thing right here. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. No. Uh, uh, so. Like I I knew that there there was like a little a little subterranean hidey place where I found the notes and read them. Yeah, it's it's up around that burned that burned house is is definitely oh, where it is. Okay, so search the guy's hideout. Or ghoulie ghouls came out to play. Now it's telling me It's definitely up above in the burned house somewhere. Okay. Jerry, how'd you go? All right. We are tripping all of our balls, apparently. There, can I crouch? No. I don't know why it's not letting you get that.
but that's also not it. Yeah, like okay. that that's not the treasure. Okay, well. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything cool? I do wish that it would like Maybe there are burned buildings? What, what, uh, uh, you mind looking up this quest? Oh, oh, wait. Okay. I have to. Oh, okay. It's in, uh, hay bale. Sorry. There we go. Oh, I have a thing. That's right, y'all. I figured out how to turn my uh, how to turn my OBS into a soundboard. Hopefully, that went through on the stream. I haven't been able to really like test it out. Novigrad, Novigrad, Novigrad. Get your upgrade diagrams. Cool. With We gotta get the tools from Undvik. What about you, Tom? You've got the you have the stream on, right? Uh, I do, but it's muted. Oh, okay. So if if you want to try that sound effect again, yeah, yeah un unmute it again, real quick. Let me know. Let me know once I am uh, throwing. Uh, uh, well, I mean, like I can ask in the chat. Uh, Do you guys hear the? Uh, uh, hear my celebratory womp 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 womp. Did it work? I'm technologically. Ow. It did. Awesome. Oh, that deserves more celebration. We got a conjurer. Hey. This guy over here is conjuring. Remember, Axie is, uh, we'll get them to drop their shields. So will Dogged Perseverance. And sweet Dark Souls rolls. Yeah. Okay, fine. Frost me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Poor bandits. They get from the bandits. Wow, look at all them glyphs. Oh, more bees. Gerald's greatest foe, bees. And the weight of what he did to those peasants. And also ladders. Also ladders. <laughs> we, we cannot discount the ladder bosses. Man, I um, ah, it's like a polar bear is just swimming in honey. Okay. Cool. 
Yeah, I've worked in a, I've worked in a couple of little things. Uh, uh, just uh, you know, the, the stuff that I figure that I would use most often, uh, either through uh, uh, in conversation with Tom or uh, uh, just in like my general kind of ranting that I do. Uh, so I've got a, a couple of little sound files that I'm keeping that I'm keeping a locked and loaded. Yeah, for the moment that Tom says something clever, we've got a. I have my own clever sound effect. Yeah. Why do I get the feeling this is going to be subtly insulting? It's not subtly insulting. It's very obviously insulting. I do have fun. Let's see, we've also got a... Uh, oh, I... Uh, ah, Garby Ghoulies, no! Ah. Uh, for the next time that I... Uh, but I meet up with uh, with thick goth GF, uh, or upon the times when, uh, when are you able to hear them, Tom, or am I able to just like drop these on you, sans knowledge? I mean, I. I have to have the stream muted in order to like, maintain really your sanity. Participate. Yeah, uh, it, it's way too much to have it unmuted. Oh, so. that's 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 even more awesome. Cool. I accept that and love it. What now? Everything's fine. Oh, shieldy vittles. Okay. And I am... I am just filled with like a... Uh, like a... Like a sense of contentment after that meal. Like, it was so good. <laughs> I do need to. I do need to get that. The the wah wah wah. I do need to get. That'll be next one. I do have uh, uh, just the random like, um, which I'm sure will be helpful. Listen, you stupid gate going, keeping the out there for all. You. What you think you're really advanced around? No, what a fool you are. No, we ain't. So be a good little dunce and hide it somewhere. Dig around for. Stuff. Hey. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and track that. Hidden from the world. That's not. Maybe that's it? I mean, I still need to do that treasure hunt for, like, the cat school and griffin school upgrade stuff and the griffin school... Fortress Castle. But, you know, like... Uh, so the volunteer uh, is actually near Oxenfurt. Mm. Um, so go go to your map real quick. Uh, to the east. Uh, let's call it north northeast. Oop. Yeah, Oop. up up. So that little city right there, that's Oxenfurt. 
Oop. Uh, off to the off the the city, John. Oop. <laughs> That You're one. like a second lieutenant, so I don't down... know if I should be insulted or honored. I, uh... <laughs> so uh, all of those um, that that city there is Oxenfurt, mm -hmm. uh, and if you go over to uh, those little islands, you see those those like four islands that are to the west of Oxenfurt. Yeah, uh, that question mark in the like very middle of the those four islands that's where the volunteer is okay that one yeah Oop. okay and that that is a very fun mission oh well i will uh i will make a custom marker for it Oop. now i map good yeah i i have no sense of like actual direction so I have to go by, uh, ironically, I have to go by, uh, visual markers. Ooh, paper tip. Thanks. We are rocking into the night. Rocking into the night. Yeah, so that, that mission, the volunteer, is very, very funny. This game does have like, like like a weirdly wry sense of humor that I I I would definitely like go out of your way to uh exhaust all of the dialogue options when you meet the volunteer cuz they are hilarious. All right. Maybe maybe we're gonna, we might get to that tonight. I'm not going to cross this bridge. Come on boys. Imperialism ain't good for you. I'll let you down. Hey. Ah. Ah. No, dog. No, no, no. No, dog. No. This, I've been playing uh, in my off time, I've been playing Final Fantasy 15. Uh, is similarly an open world road trip but uh frankly i find the protagonists uh much less relatable than this grumpy uh, uh grumpy white-haired cat boy did you say 14 or 15 15 uh, okay so uh the hangover uh I, you know i never actually saw <laughs> the hangover but I, i've heard that it's an apt comparison it is a road trip with the boys you know like, yeah product placement for uh for coleman camping equipment uh, i think that it's doing a bit of a disservice to its audience because i've been camping and it sucked uh does it suck though when you're a, a prince with three servants to manage everything for you i mean like yeah they manage it but i'm still sleeping outside uh i, I had a bunch of you know a bunch of really cool dudes like the dudes were the best part of that camping trip great crowd to hang out with um, I mean, I, I would go camping if the meals were being cooked by, uh, what's his name? By so, Ignis? Ignis, yeah. <laughs> if, if all of my meals were being cooked by Ignis, then yes, I would go camping. I mean, dude, like, if we ever wound up camping, I could cook your meals for you. Uh, the downside is we'd still be outside. Outside sucks. You get your coins worth even less. Thank you, Witcher. Where would I be this probably ties in, um, as Lou pointed out to me, not being able to map good. I just don't outdoors good. Like, waited until we passed the last settlements, then attacked. And to think, I made sure the scoundrels. The thing about those sound effects is they're loud as all get out. I'll have to turn them down. Okay. uh I trust a mercenary. I mean, I'm a mercenary. So. Why did you come all the way to Velen? Not many to sell to around here. Well, there's the Baron. Perhaps you've heard of him. Yeah, he he's a just to sell to him. We'd never have set course for these gods forsaken lands if it wasn't. And we've not much competition. <laughs> I like the fact that Gerald's like, ooh. Thank you. Please, Howdy. This was to be theirs at our destination. Now it's yours. Thanks, guys. Good luck. 
I actually didn't have this encounter, so. Have, have fun with your uh, use of alcohol, like a full person. There is a part of me that do that. You know, I'm about to say something that uh, I had like a larger platform. If there were just uh, just just between just between us on the stream, right? We're all friends here. Uh, those kids were creepy as hell, and I don't miss them. Which kids? The orphans. There were a bunch of orphans, and apparently when I decided to fight against the evil tree, I chose the one that didn't save the orphans, but did save you know, the, Baron's the, the Baron's wife. Uh, so the Baron didn't kill himself, but I mean, like, that guy wasn't really a peach either. I wouldn't miss him. So don't don't feel too bad because that's not the only other side effect. I I didn't get to that part. Well, and, and that, that's that's what I mean. I don't really feel bad because those kids were kind of pains in the dick, right? Like the only one that I really liked was Johnny, and uh, that's because he's a weird little gremly ghouly guy. So when when you do the quest the way I did it, uh, the um, that evil tree spirit mm -hmm. also uh destroys the village of downwarren so she saves the orphans and then completely annihilates an entire small village yeah so i, I don't feel those orphans were whack is what i'm getting like... i don't care about your kids you can watch well, your kids please since they're digital. Yeah, I can I can watch your kid fall down and get hurt. No, I feel I feel not bad for burning down the village. I felt bad because I was trying to get some honey and ended up setting a bunch of like refugees who had just been like, "Oh, all the monsters are gone. We can finally come home." And I was like, "Ooh, honey." And I lit like four of them on fire. I felt bad about that. Yeah, that that was that was a whoopsie on my part. If it had been considered uh, going back to a previous save point because of how embarrassing. I mean, I I just like I didn't like undo the action. I I, I just ran out of town. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't care enough to be like, oh, oh no, I can't do that. I can't have that on my conscience. I was just like, oh, oh no. <laughs> my bad. Sorry, refugees. You guys have clearly had a rough lot. You don't need some dude blowing fire in your face because he's like, ooh, honey. I mean, they're NPCs in this game anyways. They yeah, do just like a... regenerate over time. No, th those ones die. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, next time you go there, they will have respawned. Oh, good. Yeah, but like with the orphans, you know, they like they wanted to play hide and seek. They're all creepy. One kid kept talking about his junk. It was it was an odd experience. Like you can miss me with that village of the damned crap. A lot of dogs. So John, I I am sorry, but I am just about hitting my limit for sleepiness. It was the cocktail that did it, wasn't it? Well, I mean, and also the also the mountains of forty Chinese pounds food. of amazing food we had. Yeah, that was, that was an awful lot of food. I'm eating leftovers from that right now. It was so good. There's uh there's some uh, spicy crawfish and rice that uh that I'll come uh, I'll come join you and uh, power through it a little bit too, sweetheart. Cool deal. But uh, I'm gonna get going, John. You have fun on the rest of your stream. I and, will. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna kind of like uh, uh, truck around and do a bunch of these little noty side quests and you know, repair my stuff every once. Sounds good. So, uh, so uh, at least tell me, is there imminent danger of digital meat norps threatening my Christian Minecraft server? No, not for a while. Hey. Like you, you'll you'll have to get to Novigrad and do some stuff there. Oh, okay. Good. Good deal.
See, like like these guys, right? Like I've now I've cleared out the area of of monsters. The people feel safe to come home. Like there's Joe Bob over there walking around in his diaper. Uh, I felt bad because I accidentally then like ah, you guys have finally you're able to come back home now that it's safe. It's not safe. There's a pyromaniac about. I think if you're the one who liberated this place, the guards should not get angry at you when you loot it. I mean, I don't think that there were even guards. Well, yeah, but here, here there are guards. Ooh, and if like, you start see? looting stuff, they'll get pissed off. Oh, yeah, like that. Okay, got it. Okay, I got it. No, no. Uh, yeah, run, uh, run away. Ooh. Get out of here, Jerry. I mean, there's still, there's still a hidden treasure. Jerry, you want to no, go, that, buddy? That, that wasn't a hidden treasure. That was a, uh, uh, a, uh, they are persistent. abandoned place. All right, but I'm going to get going. You have fun. All right, take it easy, Tom. Yep, talk to you later. Don't ahead. Yeah, see, there was the hidden treasure. I do still have to kind of run past those. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Yeah. No, Jerry, run. Now's not the time to be brave, Jerry. Because I'm out of stamina. That was the food, sweetheart. It is very good. I'm Excellent. occasionally putting myself on mute so, you know, <laughs> you don't hear me chewing. That's fair. Good quest. Kind of funny how they, like, instead of doing peppers and um, onions, now they've taken... They just do all peppers. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't hate it. Like, it's still really good. But, yeah, uh, I do think it was better with the onions as well. Yeah. But, uh, like onions, onions are better. onions are champs, and like. As far as uh, as far as various, uh, yeah. Well, as far as various uh, uh, vegetables used in the flavoring of, of, you know, like the whole, I, like onions are a staple of, of cooking, no matter what culture you're in. Uh, so I do appreciate what they brought to the table, but it is our more intense pepper flavor. I think I, think I have outrun I think I've outrun them. But it is less savory. Yeah. Bandits. We're just murdering a ton of people this time. So how was your day at work? He said asking her right as she undoubtedly took another bite. <laughs> it was fine. Um, I had a lot of pain. I kept feeling like it was going to rain, but it didn't. Yeah, it does have that, that kind of like, like that feeling like the storm is just about to break. And we're all just sort of waiting for it to. Yeah. Okay, if I wasn't, I mean, like, I, I'm sure that I would be in the same boat if I weren't, like, riding the, uh... 
the slight high that a ton of Sichuan peppercorns give you gives you. It does help. I am probably I'm betting that the reason that I'm moving so slow is because I'm laden down. Yeah. That is a good enough time for us to uh yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe drop some of our, uh... Oh. Bad idea. Whoop! Ooh! One. Worried about the fall damage there. Uh, so, uh, yeah, after this I should, uh, run to a town right fast. What's kind of the weight limit on your bags? Uh, currently 130 with the the kind of like saddle bag. I'm sitting at like 144. But like a lot of this stuff doesn't uh, like all of the alchemical stuff that I'm picking up doesn't really have weight. All the you know all the junk I'm gonna be selling. That's why Jerry Two Swords is now doing a very slow roll. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Walking to death, man. I was uh I was watching uh fantastic articles by uh, uh by the gamer Sophie. Uh oh. And uh, they pointed out something really in kind of incredible. I haven't read, you know, I, we saw the Netflix series as my first kind of exposure to The Witcher since I missed out on playing the, on the games, you know, like when they were the new hotness. Uh, as I have said before, I was uh, kind of pretending to be, uh, or attempting to pretend like I was a productive member of society before having to reframe exactly what that meant and whether or not that was valuable. <laughs> But um, uh, something that they pointed out is that in the novels uh, and short stories, um, you know, like a lot of people kind of view Geralt of Rivia as uh, kind of like this, you know, this centrist, you know, you know, good, good, bad, you know, greater evil, lesser evil, evil is still evil. I refuse, you know, refuse to make a choice. But every time he does that, Things go absolutely sideways, and it's he the refuses to make a choice. Yeah, when he refuses to make a choice, then that's functionally, you know. Uh, I mean, let's go ahead and throw it in terms of. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and throw it in terms of uh, uh, of, uh, of a current political struggle, right? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. So Mansion's whole like, well, if we're gonna defend democracy, then we should defend it bipartisanly. You absolute knob. You can't do that when one side is the one that's actively threatening democracy. So it's like, are you saying if we're not not um, protecting it in a bipartisan fashion, it's not worth protecting? Precisely. And that's that's the deal, right? Like, not making a choice is making a choice. Uh, and so, like, Geralt's character arc is learning and realizing that. That you can't remain neutral if you have uh, uh, any concern for what is right and what is just. Like, you know? um... <clears throat> Like, Mike Duncan made a tweet, like, calling out... He's been getting saucy. Yeah, the GOP on something. And um, somebody was like, man, aren't you being partisan? And somebody was uh, else, you know, kind of called that person out. But it's like, 
Abbott was posting stuff about Republican victory in McAllen, Texas, mm -hmm. and, you know, the importance of Texas remaining a red state and all this sort of stuff. And it's like, he has shown himself to have no desire whatsoever to work with yeah. with Democrats and specifically Democratic mayors in Texas yeah, by, in by his part of, big cities and bipartisanship is an illusion right so it's like if if like why would we accept a critique of bipartisanship from people who absolutely refuse to be part of bipartisan and who view bipartisanship as who basically view it as cowardice and corruption well because historically the democrats have proven that uh, uh that it works if you just ignore them they'll they'll bend over backwards to you know make enough concessions in hopes that uh, uh that maybe the uh, gop will come back and play ball Yeah. Just, mm, oh yeah, no, it's infuriating. It. Yeah, uh big big time not a fan, but you know. Eh. It's like I can either do this with you or without you, you know. And if I and if I can you, Right. The the problem is is that uh the Democrats response is like we can do this with you or without you, but we won't do it without you, and if you don't play, we can't do it. We seem to have worked ourselves into a bit of a quandary here, haven't we? Yes. Yes, morons. You sure did. You said the quiet part out loud. There's a there's a reason why the, the nickname Do Nothing Democrats sticks. Yeah. I mean, I could take on you. Hello. Oh, merchant. Really slow. Hello, merchant. <laughs> Hello, merchant. Put a cider for you, or a bit of dry curd. No. no it's not exactly bur oh, me, what you've you got? I'm here to see if you've got money again. You got 160. It's kind of funny having to deal with a game mechanic where you have to worry about whether or not the merchant has enough money. Yeah, it's a it's a little wacky, but I also get a little bit. Like, I can sell him that, but no, I'm gonna sell him all this. All this. Other junk that I. Because I know that the blacksmiths tend to have more money, so I can sell my better stuff to Basically, I want to sell this guy as much weight as I can. Versus that. That's fair. I can't sell those yet. And so. There you go, pal. And at least now I should be able to sprint and hook. Uh, now I should be able to blacksmith, repair my stuff. You 
you'll shut your trap if you want this to be done soon. The Ooh, this looks like something I. This looks like something I gotta get involved in. Sons, all. I said shut it. Like you do. Like you do. What are you looking at? I'll be next for a thrashing. What's going on here? Sir! My daughter, help us! My men need some diversion from time to time. About to get Maybe jumped. Somebody else wise. Oop. I can't let this happen. I won't. Figured it might end this way. Get him! Ooh. Big man with a big hammer, huh? Cool. I'd like to repair my swords before doing this, but I'll, uh, that's the way you want. Good thing I just sold a bunch of stuff. Pick up a bunch yeah. of stuff. What are you, okay? Well, I'm... <laughs> What's on your mind? Uh... You want to check on your There we go. Last one. Have a good night. <laughs> yep. Can't wanna fail. Okay, so back the way we were. Was the give me the toy. Yeah. Tails will clean the shit out of the stable. Uh you know, a quick little uh I would say necessary diversion. For sure. The important thing was uh, that the right people got lit on fire. As Lou said earlier, fire is uh, is a good answer. Fire is a great purifier. That it is. Fergus, my dude! Fergus, I want some repairs, bruh! Repair dipped. Yeah, do. And now, and now we other stuff. Minus fifteen armor. Minus. I've had, I should have had Tom look at that. Hang on a bit. Till the next time. We'll make a note. Hey Tom, look at this. And so this guy order map. Cool. So 
uh, returning back to a previous topic Wouldn't of conversation. Yeah. How would you describe my accent? <laughs> you know, I don't. Th I don't tend to think about it too much. Weirdly enough, because uh, yeah, right. Well, I mean, obviously, I don't. Yeah, I mean, like. Of course, I don't think about your accent either. Well, but but like so. my accent is for for years uh, when I was uh. Now you. When I had aspirations of being an actor, uh, I taught myself to uh, uh, to mostly speak in standard American. So like the I, like I really. The crazy thing to me is that this guy is not the first one who's commented on it. Oh. Like it doesn't happen often, but it happens. Yeah, I mean, I. I... Doesn't sound strange to me. Granted, I don't know. Uh... Uh, I couldn't tell you what a, uh, what a, you said you were from Chicago? He said some of my words sounded kind of like from Chicago. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't really say. He said Chicago and Wisconsin. And I was like, huh. He asked where my parents were from, and I, I did say my mom was from Illinois. Maybe that's why. But I really doubt. Because mom's kind of cl more from, like, the St. Louis area. Mm -hmm. See ya. What's the one? No, I'm in St. Louis, Missouri. But she's from across the river in Illinois. Like, but... In Illinois, like the part of Illinois she's from is closer to St. Louis than it is Chicago. If that makes Illinois. sense. Illinois. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Witcher. But people are like frequently surprised that I'm from Texas. Baron's yeah, I mean, like you don't, you don't have a, you know, you don't have like a drawl or. I know. I I think that like as I relaxed, uh, I I too have uh, have started to let myself slip into a drawl. But I'm not like full cowboy unless I really want to be. I That is the new order, and I don't give a flying fuck if you like it or not. I was working on the ranch. Yeah. I mean, it's it's fun every once in a while to you know. Just occasionally go a little, a little bit yeehaw. Mm -hmm. Some, sometimes you just want to be a little cowboy, just, uh, just you know, for fun, free. Well, it's like also, if you're from San Antonio, it's like a different thing than Dallas. Or yeah. Small town Texas. Yeah, our, ours is like that, like that semi, that semi Spanglish, uh, lazy regional. Yeah. We simply can't we sound, we simply we sound can't less, be bothered. And it's less Spanglish than if we were actually Hispanic or grew up like on the south side. Yeah. Well, I figure probably part of it is uh talking to a lot of people from a lot of different places. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, uh... Granted, like, like by this point, we've been, uh... We have been inside for so long that, like... I don't tend to have much thoughts on other people's voices because I don't hear them. <laughs> like, everything is filtered through... Oh, yeah, the internet. I'm hearing a voice from a long way away, you know, like, like, had... 
I mean, occasionally in uh, in my conversations with Canada, I've had to be like, wait a minute, did you just say a boot? Oh, that's right, Canada. Yeah. You know, but like even even uh, even localized time has been kind of. Uh, even like, uh, like temporal Antonio distance is... doesn't matter. Yeah, and like San Antonio itself, like it's military city USA. So yeah. You get people from all over. Yeah. And if you don't talk to them, you don't you don't notice their accents either. Got their asses whipped like you know, big lad. You. You surprised? I tried to dance with a witcher. Where'd he come from anyway? Well, how should I know? You so curious? Ask him yourself. Yeah. Good. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, these guys I mean, are talking about talk me. To... You're pale as oaty shite. Hmm. Alright, let's check our maps. See where we're going like next. About, about 30 seconds behind you, I think. Yeah, that's probably. Uh, pale as Odie shite. Yep. Nice. Got some, uh, we got classy light. Okay. Onwards and upwards. Oh, now I'm feeling the itis. I even have a cocktail. Is that why uh, Tom bowed out? Uh, I mean, like, he, he got home, like, there was a, a, a pretty staggering. Okay. It was, it was just wonderful to see. And really, uh, really heartening uh, to see all of them fully vaccinated. Good deal. As much as the folks at the grocery store occasionally uh, send me into. And the people at the grocery store make you want fun? Yeah. You know, like, as, as much as they make me go, like, mm, not a whole lot of hope to see that many people be like, nope, I'm coming out to eat because I have put in the work and gotten the shot and listened to the science and took all the time. And this is my reward. Nice. So, uh, and the uh, faith in humanity gently restored a little bit. Still not fully there. Ghoul nest. Mm -hmm. to just destroy it. I'm sorry. Two swords walks away, zones out, comes back with a grenade. Let's see. I think it the and then I too uh may elect to uh go into a food haze out for the nice. But yeah, you know, lots of uh, lots of good conversation. Uh, uh, had a chat about uh, the importance of uh, uh, of Kropotkin and Batman, and what in both of them. 
And if you're not, if you're like, oh, no, I'm one of those people that, like, you start talking to me about Batman and I start zooming out, and it's, what do I have to tell you to get you interested in Batman? And then I'll take those same things and uh, apply it to Kropotkin. But yeah, good, uh, a good time had by all, I believe. Interesting post um, that was like let's see you know basically like you wouldn't recognize like you would if someone claimed like Kylie Jenner was Batman you wouldn't you would think they were being stupid. Like, right. It's kind of the same way as, like, Bruce Wayne being Batman. Yeah, like, like Bruce Wayne has, or, or Batman has made a, uh, has made a very specific goal of being as stupid as Bruce Wayne. You know, so that nobody would be like, Bruce Wayne? That dork? Nah, man. He's just an out-of-touch rich guy. The way he could be the cape for some That it's easy to mock the concept of Batman's secret identity and think it's ridiculous that nobody would recognize that he's Bruce Wayne. Hmm. But if some lady suddenly showed up late at night dressed in full military grade Kevlar and started fighting crime in Los Angeles, I wouldn't look at that and think, ah, it's Kylie Jenner. All right. Ghoul nest. Ought to just destroy it. <laughs> they were like, uh, they said the same logic applies to Clark Kent, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't see Superman, the crazy, powerful alien, zooming past me and think, I think he's secretly an award-winning journalist. Well, and it's that was... Bird. It's a plane. It's Anderson Cooper. Right. I mean, like, I think Anderson Cooper is a... Uh... Yeah, like, like, he's the only one with the money to buy the suit. Uh, I mean, like... He's not the only one. Uh, even in the DC, like it could be another uh, another multimillionaire, like uh, like Oliver Queen uh, could do it. But Oliver Queen's too busy being the Green Arrow, so you know, figure. Uh, he's the only guy I'd say rich enough in Gotham uh, to do it. But even then, like, Goose, run away. Uh, but even then, that that too is like a little shaky, you know, like. Gotham has a lot of money going through it. Most of it's just uh, uh, mafia money. Yeah, money laundering. Right? You know, so like... But yeah, it, out of everybody specific to Gotham, he'd be hey, my John, first choice. Can, John, can you fight that goose? I don't know, and I'm scared to. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. I, I really kind of want you to try. Oh, you wanna, you wanna <laughs> see me hurt. Is what you want. I, I do. <laughs> you need to take my life and my. What the heck is up with this guy's look? He's got glass. <laughs> and a bag on his head. <laughs> I mean, he's not like a. Like, I wouldn't call him a fashion eye. Uh, yeah. The thing I liked with the uh, the end result, uh, or like the last comment on the the deal, what was uh, people don't even recognize Tony Hawk with a skateboard. <laughs> See, and that's like like if you <laughs> like if you saw Bruce Wayne like walking down the street, uh, I, I saw a thing where uh, where like the paparazzi were following Michael Keaton around, and one of them asked him a question about. Uh, crypto coin and he like stopped and was like you know one of my buddies was talking about that the other day and one of them said like oh man you got to get into the other one was like eh, no it seems really volatile and like he just had a he just had like a chat with the guys and then was like well thanks for asking me about crypto coin you know uh, i i have an opinion it's not the most well informed but hey there it is uh i'm gonna go now yeah david it's amanda <laughs> yeah <laughs> This one of the co-workers? Yeah. 
Hello, is, Home Depotites. This is uh, this is young David. Nice, young David and old David, and young old David. I, I don't think, think I, we have a young old David. No, I think I made that last one up. Yeah. I uh I I scared David earlier cuz I I sent him a meme with his name on it. Crazy. It uh I find it. Farewell. I mean, so we called we call uh we called my brother David. It's his middle name. So like we're constantly on the lookout for Dave or David related things. Can't lose hope. Just so that I can taunt him. But so hey. Like uh thanks for uh, uh thanks for subscribing, young Dave. Uh welcome aboard. I sent David a thing that said, Hi David. I wanted to reach out to you following this morning's class. I really appreciate your contributions to our discussion, but felt that I should follow up with you. I noticed that during class, you appeared to consume an entire chocolate cake. Normally, I would never be one to police my students' eating habits, but I reviewed the class recording, and you finished the whole thing in 43 seconds. I'm pretty sure I watched you unhinge your jaw like some kind of snake. Is everything going okay at home? Is your jaw okay? Please let me know if I can be of any support. And uh, since Dave, David's taking an 8 a.m. Zoom class, I thought, you know. <laughs> I mean, teacher of the year right there for showing that level of concern. Uh, so I, I went, uh, so I went to high school with a dude named Paul who had, uh, uh, who had like a righteous afro, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and Paul, whenever he got word that there was a. Uh, ooh, a dragony thing. Uh, whenever he got word that there was like a substitute teacher, would pick out his fro to its full glorious extent, uh, go buy a bottle of soda and a bag of Doritos and hide it in his hair. Uh, so that he could like, like a magician, just pull snacks in the middle of class. Uh which the ordinary teachers forbade him from doing after the first time. But uh, substitute teachers were completely unprepared. Yeah, Paul's... None of them left, none of them left the substitutes? No, nope. No, I mean, like, like most of the time when you when you see a kid do that, and, and Paul had, like, this... He had this very wry uh, uh, humor about him. Uh, so he just mostly reveled in the substitute's confusion. And he like he had the timing down perfectly, uh, so he would do it just before class went out, and before like you could say anything, the bell would ring, and he'd be like, "Oh, time to pack up my hair snacks, put them back in my hair, and like just walk out like nothing happened," uh, just resulting in you know a stunned Come substitute. On. That's fantastic. Yeah, it was a it was a fun character. seem to have a lot of funny characters at your high school. I mean, public school, so... We, we took all kinds. I mean, a couple of them are in this chat, I think. <laughs> like, Rob, Rob and I could tell you some stories. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And the next time we either uh, we either make it up there or he makes it down here, uh, we will have to. We'll we'll put together a tight five and regale you with stories from our from our misspent uh, uh, public schooled youth. Was it really misspent though? I mean, it got me here. Yeah. But I imagine that if I had been like you know raised by a by a by a pack of feral hogs, I would have eventually made it here. I just probably wouldn't be so erudite. <laughs> if I was raised by a parliament of crows, then I would just speak in cause, but I, I, I'm sure I'd still be here. 
We like to take a I like to take a Zen outlook on no matter where you are. Board. I did tell uh, a couple of uh, co workers, not David, about my um, humiliation from last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just one, oh, just one turn afraid. I won't. <laughs> Mashing up two different sentences into one. Yeah. Uh, I, I won't yeah. Like here because it's a Christian Minecraft server. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we have standards. Three games. Show me what I you mean, got. Look at your stock. I think your I think your mother did subscribe. I'm in danger. <laughs> yeah, you are. That's not true. Put up with me this long. Yeah. <laughs> she is your friend on Facebook. I was already in some form. Mm Dude, my junk. You know what I mean. Um, not sure I do. Isn't that attached? Uh, not according to King Missile. I'm confused. That's okay. That, that's the point of. Well, I mean, if we're being honest, that's the point of King. I needed for uh, that a uh, white goal that Tom was telling. There's a particular a thing. Looks like we're in. No out to fight, Geralt. Yes. Surprised you haven't uh, changed uh, Geralt's hair lists, yet. I mean, it's growing back out. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. I guess you can't change it till it grows back out, huh? Like it actually works, like, like physics or something. Like it's not like a yeah, it's like a like a time thing. thing. Oh. I'm ready. Let's fight. Good folk. Fish gulpers finally found a foe. Right here, right now. You know what they say about the hammer. He'll face none other than Geralt of Rivia, the Amen. I mean, uh, <clears throat> I mean, technically they call me the butcher of Blaviken, but I don't really enjoy it. Spare me a minute before the fight master, please. You can talk. Cut of your mugs plain as day. What am I beside you? I just want to live. Fish These days, gulper. streams are bereft. No fish for me to gulp. And they's just keep in mind, I'm like 30 seconds winner. behind you on the stream. I get you. Show some pity. Take a fall for me. <laughs> so 30 fish seconds behind. just kind of looks sad. Yeah, so like, did I pity him and lose... My seventy, my seventy monies, or uh, I mean, is this like, hey man, you, you signed up for the job of getting punched in the face for money? Take a fall you or know, no? You know better than I do. Very two swords, man. Words. Not about to lose on purpose. If you want to win, you gotta beat me. You know, I'm a good show, I think. Jam, jam. Body blow, punch by, punch by. 
Sometimes I gotta make a name for myself. Ooh. We're not gonna. We're not gonna. Merryweather and Paul this fight. I did actually manage to have a conversation with a couple coworkers about that today. I mean, uh, it was a show. And then yeah, like they, the smithy at the end the, of the one of them was saying, he was like, yeah, I wasn't going to pay for it, but I did stream it. <laughs> and another one was like, yeah, Logan Paul can't punch for shit. <laughs> and, uh, Nobody expected him to. Like, and then like, they were like, yeah, about? Mayweather went easy on What's him. Become a meme, and I was like, yeah, my husband said he'd, uh, he would pay to see Logan Paul oh, lose a few teeth. I, was born I mean, it would have been satisfying. Daughter. Yeah. My brother and I, we managed the manor for years. What happened to you? I'm a caller came one day. A drifter, a hunter. You are indeed. But it wasn't long before we fell in love and wed. The trick is to always root for the little guy. My brother, he took offense, refused to bid me farewell. Years on, I returned, but found no sign of him. Folk claimed monsters had infested our home. Come to nest there. I can, I can take care of those monsters for you. Mm. You're a witcher, right? Yeah, what tipped you no off? Ordinary man would be so eager. Don't Kitty cry. cat eyes. It's all the same to me, provided you're honest. I'm very the clearly a man of my word. Here. Take this key. Once you've driven off the beasts, look for a chest. My treasure. Savings, really. They're yours. What'll that leave you with? A roof a over dope my house. All I need. And if it comes to it, I've other heirlooms to sell. But I know you witchers don't work for free. I can never let you go without honest pay. Gods keep you. Okay, as far as uh Reardon family man. As far as uh, uh nobles go, I guess. At least she's honest. Yeah, the uh, so from what I can tell, uh, Dave, uh, the games are a continuation of uh, oh bear. Uh, the games are a continuation of the book. Uh, so there's like five novels and a, and a series of short stories uh, that were published in uh, in magazines in Poland, uh, you know, like over the last thirty some odd years. Uh, the actual, like, books weren't translated until, uh, after CD Projekt Red, uh, uh, the, the books weren't translated into English until after an explodey barrel. Yep. Yep. There was. Eat some food, Jerry. Stop surfing, Jerry. Jerry! Take a, take a little bit of a breather. Your newest boss. <laughs> <laughs> what are you what are you gonna call this boss, John? Uh, <laughs> my own sense of self-preservation? I don't. I was like, I mean, like, I, I'm not certain that it was an explodey barrel, but I had my, uh, I had my suspicions, and then it blew up and proved me right, so. I, I guess at least it wasn't as embarrassing as the ladder bust. No, no, and, like, early on in the stream, I did, uh, I did take a bit of a tumble, and, uh, whoops. <laughs> Give me that honey. The honey. I've killed people for honey. I've killed people for honey. Accidentally. I blew them up. Accidentally. Uh but yeah, like it, it was the it was the popularity of uh uh of the Witcher games that actually led to the eels to get uh uh 
to get the books translated into English. So, like, fantasy novel fans that were, like, read the books and are like, oh man, I really love the Witcher series. Well, congratulations. Uh, you got that because of a video game. Uh, but yeah, I haven't read them either. Uh, I saw the Netflix show and was like, huh, interesting. I am somewhat confused by the, uh, uh, by the shifting timeline. Um, those are apparently like a, like a highly, uh, simplified version of, uh, of the books. Uh, or at least like of the early books. Uh, the games take place after the books and then, like, append onto it. So, uh, so in theory, this is all, like, like the continuing adventures of, as we call them on this stream, Jerry Two Swords, uh, uh, freelance uh, roaming counselor. Helping people with their problems, usually by application of violence. Did you say freelance... Roaming counselor? Yeah. Okay. I mean, mo most of the time, right? Like, like half of the ghoulies that I fight are, you know, like, oh, this woman was, you know, was horribly abused, and you know, now her, uh, uh, now her spirit is lingering, and I'm like, well, have you guys tried talking? Maybe we should open up some lines of communication. Get the get the communication going. Really, that's. You gotta draw strong boundaries, re-haunting stuff. And that's, uh, that's really where we go. Uh, but I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. I need to, uh, uh, use the restroom real fast. This time I'll actually try and mute myself. Uh, so we'll be back in just a little bit. And we are bo 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 back. Right, I'm gonna upgrade. This is a little bit.
can carry even more junk. What will I do with all of this junk within my train? Get that money. Money! And let's opportunity. Let's just say. Alright, let's kill the monsters in the manor, y'all. <laughs> a tripwire. Never known a monster to set a trap. Someone's here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, thanks for giving me the chance to disarm that. Movie trap. Whoever said it knew what they were doing. Traps everywhere. Gotta be careful. Whoever set this knew what they were doing. I did buy on uh, on Tom's uh, urging. I did buy the skill that allows me to like eat a piece of food and let that continually heal me. So uh, now that we know that there are traps out, take a look. One less to worry about. Go a little movement. Gotta keep my ears open. Rustling over there. Hmm. Look like twins. Old woman's brother. Must be. Like an episode of Mid. Oh God. Well, it, it said fall of the house of Reardon, so I figure fall of the house of Usher. Which was a was a brother sister thing. From the barn. Did you ever see that movie? I'm sure you did. What, the fall of the house of Usher. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been in stage performance. Oh, awesome. Who would you play? Wasn't a particularly big uh, one less to worry about. Team. One less to worry about. It may or may not be surprising to you, but it was one of my dad's favorites. Not like a huge favorite, so I didn't see it a whole bunch, but right. one less to worry about. I mean, so it was it was not, shall we say, a big part. Gotcha. Something's not right. That was one of, the, that was one of those like they had me uh, work in uh, work in tech, and they needed a body on stage. Gotcha. Problem solved. <laughs> a trip wire. Yes, Carol. Problem solved. Hunger. Guns. One less to worry about. I just re granted that was probably. Yeah, I'm sure. I can take <laughs> I I ate some raw meat. Uh <laughs> one less to worry about. That means I'll be I'll be absolutely fine for like the next hmm, that sort of attic. Gotta get up there somehow. Follow the House of Usher was Poe, wasn't it? I want to say it was. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Didn't he marry his first cousin? He sure was like did. 15. Sure did. Let's see what's up there. Okay, guys. Ladder boss, we can do this. We're not afraid. We are not afraid.
Your reflexes have slowed. Hope you're not hurt. Those were my traps. Yeah, it was written Rekha. by it was written by Poe. Yeah, didn't expect to see you either. Oh, okay. You one of them. This dude was uh was the Who's villain that? of The Witcher 2. He's yeah, another Witcher. Mercenaries to themselves, bounty hunters. To me, Who is he? ordinary son. He's a uh a uh, dude from I want to say like the me. Bear School of Witchers, a say, like Letho of to get rid of, the of something. Here. I did that already. Count on you remembering that when you collect your pay. He killed a bunch of kings because he was. I mean, but like apparently he and the, he and Jerry Two Swords. It was revealed at the end of the second game. Uh, he and Jerry Two Swords fought. Uh, like side by side before Gerald lost his memories in the events of the film. Now I understand all the traps. Gotten real careful. For good reason. Dudes! Don't look a bit like lost travelers. They're not. Means Lewis sold me out. Lewis? Old friend, kinda. Did a few jobs together once, a while past. Lewis recommended this place to me. Oh, jeez. Um, apparently Poe married his cousin, who was age 13. Oh. It's even worse. Classy stuff. He was 26, she was 13. So You've grown gross. careless. Let yourself be drawn into a trap. Nah. Own traps here are the ones I set. Yeah, I uh, I, I disarmed coming of those, buddy. Yeah. Lead the way. We got a plan of attack. Yeah. Sure, bro. Improvise. Out of the way, horses. I got no problem with you. Not like my girlfriend. Stand. Came to fight a witcher and you're not even wearing a shirt. Like... Goddamn fools. Shoddily armed for assassins. They're just scats. Like Came those black shirtless blacksmiths. Yeah. It's like, like, bad idea, I man. That's a good way to burn off an Epinor. Probably knows where. Oh, <laughs> you're right. He was the only one knew I'd be here. Must have told them. Think what is with you in this whole a little chat. thing? Well, you know, just in, in case I, uh... Is this is the Christian Minecraft server? Yeah, and in case in case I, they monetize me, uh, you know, in the future, if someone goes back through my old back catalog, they don't want to hear me being like, I'm going to way to burn off a nipple. You know, like, Neat Norms is funny. places it's hard to find if you don't know where to look. It was funny when when I rewatched like the it's actual Lewis. stream Somehow of the uh, when you first friends. saw Kira, like mm -hmm. you totally Gelled. weren't paying attention and completely missed. Oh yeah, for like a good good several seconds. Well, and, like <laughs> I didn't have I didn't even... have like anything like you know how it is in this <laughs> I didn't have anything set up to be like you know whoop uh, I need to uh. Ooh. Kiss this world goodbye. Lewis was a wanted man in Ada. Hefty bounty on his head and normal contracts were hard to come by. So I decided Miles. to catch the bastard and make some call. Boy. Stick closer, Geralt. He's up, pal. Tracking him down proved easier than killing a drowner. Have you and Tom Who's, talked uh, any more about what Mary sort of making a like to play? Man. No, Smack no, we've not. Yeah. Do that, that next time. Tied him up, but the guard post didn't open till dawn. So we had a Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the like the Chop Chop time. game is available on Chat Steam. So nice that once dawn came, I let him go, and that's why oh, you trusted him. I'm sure there are others. Yeah, I mean, I was we'll find a way. Stupidity can cost you, but betrayal costs even more. Like I think, I think since I didn't play The Witcher Two, of course. Uh, I think this guy and I left on kind of like, eh. 
you know, like shaky sort of sort of like you know like bro head nod respect terms like maybe I don't like you. you don't like him no it's like i don't like you but yeah like no maybe respect you maybe. well and and like according according to to letho uh uh in uh in earlier games like like after you beat him he was like man you know like like that's the that's the jerry two swords i remember from you know from when we were on the same side and you're like wait what i don't remember any of that and he's like yeah that makes sense you traded your memory so you could uh, uh free your thick goth, goth girlfriend from like the fairyland and then like you know like we kind of helped you get there you know, you helped us, we scratched your back. We were cool then. I understand if we're not cool now. And you kind of were like, you know... And just stop killing the kings, dude. You're you're jacking my steez, you know? like You're making things really, really tricky for me and I don't like it. So you're saying the kings did not need killing. Right. I mean, some of them may have, but some of them were also paying me to do so. Let me get paid. Letho. Greetings. Good to see you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alive this, is, and well. this guy's not trustworthy at all. Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> We're old mates, ain't we? Who's your friend? Call me the Nark. Who knows you're a fink? Whoa, let's be civil now. Remember, you're on my turn. On Alvesta's men showed up at the manor. You were the only one knew I was there. They've been nipping at your heels for a while. Said so yourself. Perhaps I finally caught you. Neep Norpin at his heels. Mm. With your help. You've not been here five minutes, and already you've offended me twice. It's got no a way to worthy of scum like you. Careful, men! They're witches! Witchers don't, humans. Oh! <laughs> Witchers don't attack humans. I have killed so many bandits. <laughs> Lie still or you'll bleed to death. Hey, guess what? Chicken Tell me where Vesta's men are. I got disconnected. I'll give you something Aww. to staunch the bleeding. You missed another another, another deep north. Oh yeah, what was the Neepnorp joke? Uh, guy said they've been nipping at your heels for a while, and I was like, Neepnorp at your heels. <laughs> I'm curious, how much does the life of an You're, old knight get like, you Like, how days? did you luck out? You know, With you? I do stretch. not know. Yeah, like, I, I apparently find all this shit funny. I, I do not know. I constantly <laughs> thank God <laughs> that I amuse you. <laughs> I, uh, you know, uh, I'm going off a boundless charm here, really. I understand. <laughs> it's what I bring to the table. Gotta understand. Well, it's like even when you're you not like even like, like even when it's not really like charming, I still find it you. endearing. Yeah. I guess, which is a form of charming. Yeah. Like I don't know. Damn you! I mean, I'll take it. I mean, you were my type, I'm the class clown. I mean, weirdly enough, like I, I was, I was like, in high school, I was like the good kid. I mean, really? I was, yeah, I was clever, but I was still like the good kid, you know. I was a, no, I was, was a, I was a quiet. School, you were a clown. I mean, because you told me some of those shenanigans. Yeah, but uh, I mean, like I've always, uh, I've always been a bit of a like a like a smartass. Uh, we met in uh, I had just moved back to San Antonio. Was it what 2005, 2004, late 2000? Yeah, 2005. You, you, I think moved back uh, beginning of 2006, maybe late 2005. And um, you and I met August of 2006. August 2006. Uh, we met at a uh, at a movie theater uh, 
to the top. Ready to see the masterpiece of American cinema that was Snakes on a Plane. Uh, a mutual friend of ours had uh, had invited me to the show, uh, Keep your eyes and open. I, if they're really here, don't know. But like I said, I having uh, uh, having thought, well, surely it's just going to be the friend and I seeing a stupid movie like don't Snakes know. on a Plane. There's certainly no reason for me to, you know, like try to impress this person uh who i who i was not uh you know like, like this was like an old old friend uh so there was like no romantic tension betwixt us so i was like i mean like it's not like i need to dress up or anything i was wearing a turtleneck sweatpants and uh uh and sandals with socks and my hair was wild uh Got company. I doubt that it was love at first sight because I looked like a moron. Tell them to grab whatever's valuable. Take you and flee. But again, Got I'm it. charming. Good. Give this to your mother. Now run. Say hi to your mother for me. What was that? Compensate. No, it, uh, it 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 took a little Stay while. Uh, uh, don't interfere. No matter what. Happens. I had I had been told by by said friend like oh man if you ever you know if you ever met my friend Amanda uh, y'all would get along like a house on fire it's a shame that she has a boyfriend uh, unbeknownst to me uh, she was in the process of breaking up with that boyfriend while that was being spoken so so it all it all worked out eventually Shut up, all of you. yeah I would say it was like intrigue at first sight I, I mean, was kind of like look at this nerd <laughs> if you can't be impressive be intriguing Let go of Gullick. good to see you uh, alive what I knew alive. from uh, Funny. Second time the description of that him lie. that he and I were going to hit no it off lie. you will certainly fetch a high and about that there alive. was a probably really? how much Enough to buy me an estate in Kavir, where I will lie time, about I, eating fruit till boyfriend. the end of my days. Not bad. And then the boyfriend and I Not every up. man gets to know the price on his hand. <laughs> and I was Most there to take advantage of that opportunity. But why have you come? And we started to dating two months later. Yeah. We were passing by. Decided it was time to finally meet the famous Arnold Vester in person. I am flattered. Shame will not get to know one another better. Why? Going somewhere? No. Simply because I will kill you in a moment. What is with all these guys who look like they're in diapers? Like, what the hell? Nice. I mean, it must be they the fashion. Punish you for that. I guess so. But I won't kill you. I'll just cut off your hands. Cut off all your hands. One man after the other. Till the end of your days. Those stumps will remind you of the mistake you made. Bloody yeah. hell. You fucking dimwit. I had what I want to know is how old with the man. David was in 2006. He me. There's a scarred kid. We have no quarrel with you, but one false move and... And what? You will end like him. What say you to that? Well... <sighs> what do I say? Simple. You're as good as dead. We work in class witchers. We gotta stick together. Solidarity! Ooh, my knees! <laughs> my sweet, precious knees! <laughs> you, you good, bro? Hmm. Nah, he did. Something's fishy. 2006, I was five. <laughs> <laughs> Add to your uh, <laughs> sense of uh, 
mortality oh, challenge. I'm a drink to my impending death. <laughs> oh, I'm a relic. I'm a quarter of a century away. Oh. Hey, Luther's still up and kicking. <laughs> yeah, uh, David, I was like You're your age here. when I met John. <laughs> They'd have cut your head off if I hadn't been here. <laughs> it was a few years so older than me. useful after all. Could have told me. <laughs> no fun in that. Dude, I'm creeping up on 40, so. You all right? You're conscious. But the Zanguibarian venom could still kill you. Yep. You got the antidote? Yep. Mm. We are Settle old. Bed. Take it in a minute. Couple of days I'll be like new. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You, you embrace it. Uh, come to the realization. There, there's a certain level of, like, a philosophical nihilism about the passage of time that you, uh, I think that we millennials, and I'm like... I've, I've gone on this about this before. I first heard the term millennial uh, when uh, uh, when I was graduating high school. I think, uh, Dave, I think folks your age are uh, are Zoomers now. It doesn't matter. It's, all of us are broke. The boomers got all the wealth. What about Lewis? Was he part of this Yeah, no, like, so, yeah, age. It's a it's a thing. You get used to it. It did get me thinking, but I had to risk it. If you had, it's fun though. In my old age, I care a lot less about um uh about things like makes life a whole lot easier. Would have spread across the continent in days. Wouldn't have done it if you'd let me in on your plan. Told you not to get involved. Well, my plan's in shambles. I should really disappear. Kermoran. You could wait things out at Kermoran. Where I'm sending all my buddies. From the school of the wolf. Uh -huh. No thanks. Could end badly. Tell them I sent you. They'll understand. Give you space. Kermoran, you say? Hmm. Why not? Yeah. Got some loose. Apparently, there's a point that Tom was telling me about that, like later on in this game, if you uh, Help you send. Out. Like buddies along the way to Care More, and then they come to your aid later. So, so. see you at Care More. Yeah, it's like you're see gathering you. your own army, right? Yeah. So, so far I've got, uh, uh, Kiara and, uh, and Letho, so. It's shaping up to be a pretty decent army. Yeah. If I say so myself. Like, I definitely want that dude on my side. <laughs> we, uh... We do not want him as an opponent. For sure. He kind of slaps a little. Last... Turn to Dolores. Hey, lady. Don't kid. Cats are grooming each other, John. Oh, you boy. You've returned. Waiting for them to start fighting because it usually happens naturally. It's safe now. I thank you. This means so much. And perchance, did you find my chest with my treasures? No, could be someone stole it. <laughs> it didn't take long. <laughs> but go back and search carefully. I've naught else to offer you. I'll do that. Time I was on my way. Gods guide you. Her hair like matches her clothing. What? Quests. 
back. Go back and surge. Uh, I forgot where that place was. Uh, so I think that that is where I am going to end the stream of For the Night. I'm going to visit that shopkeeper. Sell some of my stuff. And my chest is full of treasures. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by, Dave. Yeah, thanks for uh, joining us. And uh, suppose yeah, I Got talked to Liz. Supposedly Anthony's still technically employed, but tells me not for long <laughs> I don't know what's happening there <laughs> what does Rob mean by his chest is full of treasures I mean it's just what he says his chest is full of treasures Is that like synonymous with his heart being full of love? Uh, sure. <laughs> that would I'd, be the nice answer. I mean, I, I think he's just talking about his sweet, sweet baps. I don't know what that means. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> There's another sword that I'll have to get Tom to way in hey, this dude will buy my best yeah david uh uh i did confirm uh john's john's gone <laughs> not me another john hey, yeah i'm still here oh. <laughs> this is true Ah. Rob was referring to the old woman asking about her chest full of treasures. Yeah. Leave that dude five. All right. All right. Well, all right. So we are going to, uh, <laughs> farewell. Uh, we are Your going crawfish. to, yeah, I'm going to come eat the, eat that delicious crawfish. We're going to go on and save our game like smart, smart boys. And uh, as always, thank you guys so much for uh, uh, for coming to hang out. Uh, I do this every Monday. I play The Witcher. Um, usually I do it at 8 Central. Uh, today was a little bit of a late start, but uh, I may start dragging them out a little more because uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this game and I want to get more of it done. Uh, let's see. Uh, we do random streams throughout the week, so make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure to click the, uh, the notification button to be alerted when new streams are going on. Uh, Saturday we do Chrono Trigger. Uh, and I think I'm going to start a, start a regular Friday thing where I play more and more Final Fantasy IX is the other game. Uh, if you've got requests for games, uh, leave them in the comments uh, once I upload this video. And uh, uh, hit me up and tell me what you want me to play. Once they go on sale, I'll get them. we got nothing else better to do with our time. Uh, don't forget, it's usually free to be kind. 
and it does make a world of difference. And if Dark Souls 3 was on Steam, I would do it. I've heard nothing but good things. If I ever managed to get a uh, PS5, that's one of the ones on the list. But, uh, but that being said, uh, guys, take care out there. Be good. Uh, you know, uh, work with your communities. And uh, uh, don't forget, uh, the main villain is always capitalism. Always. So be good to people. All right. We'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful night.